As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. It seems that you've been living two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. The other life is lived in computers, where you go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of virtually every computer crime we have a law for. One of these lives has a future one of them does not. Could be a new shirt at the men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good, hot, black coffee. Like this. A present. Like Christmas. Downstairs while you. And when I come up, I want you to be asleep. All right? You've been such a disgusting girl. Just let me tell you. Tell me tomorrow. I'm going to go now. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Good coloring. That's bone. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. What do you think? Nice. Jesus. <laughs> that is really super. How do nitwit like you get so tasteful? <laughs> I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Raised lettering, pale nimbus, white. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's card. Subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Something wrong? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Actually, I prefer to read Your Fortune. Temperance. Inverted. Indicative of volatility. A woman who has recently taken a comfort in drink. Not bad, but, um, you have to make me believe you. I have to see it in your eyes. Did you get this?
Do you know anything about the Chamber of Secrets? Can strong enough. Don't worry. We'll be all right. I just need to take a little. Last forward to bow you. Come on, to bow to bow Last forward. It's all right, Matilda. I really did do it, Miss Honey. One of the odd things about life is Sometimes you can do something until you want to show someone, and then you can't. <laughs> or sometimes you think something's broken, then you take it to be fixed. This isn't like that. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I made myself tired. Matilda, would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? You are? Yes. Who am I? Death. Your death. That's me. Yeah, not death. He's just a kid in a suit. The suit came with the body I took. Let me ask your opinion. Do I blend in? You want me to be your guide. You fill the bill, Bill. Carl, you have to remember to let me call my father when we land. I just wanna, I wanna talk to him before he sees me on television or something like that. Oh, look. That's LaGuardia right there. Runway 44. Frank, your father is dead. I'm sorry. I didn't want to say anything until we got closer to home. He... He fell down some steps at Grand Central Station trying to catch a train. I didn't want to be the one to tell you. And why, right? I have your meal, sleepyhead. Eat. Good. It's got paprika in it. Mm -hmm. Oops. See what she's done to you. Well, she never tied me to a chair. Her loss. Are you sure this is about him? It's about her. And you and me. You see, we are the last two rats. We can either eat each other. Huh? Or eat everyone else. How oh, you're trying to remember your training now? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything, yes. Hmm. What makes you think this is my first time? Oh, Mr. Pollard. How much? 
69 cent. And the gas. Y'all getting any rain up here, way? What way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? I didn't mean that by it. Didn't mean nothing. Just passing the time. If you don't want to accept that. Nice spot. I have something for you. Something tells me you're not a flowers kind of guy. Oh, how thoughtful. John. Why are you giving me this? Somewhere no one will ever be able to find it. Not even me. Always a catch. Yeah. So. Pesadilla. You had a nightmare. She don't have nightmares. See. People hurt me. Any different. Por qué? I hurt people. You know what it is. It's made out of adamantium. That's what they buy inside of us. That's why it can kill us. It's probably what's killing me now. It's a long time ago, and I kept it as a reminder of what I am. Now I keep it to, uh... Actually, I, uh... I was thinking of shooting myself with it. Like Charles said. I've hurt people, too. You're gonna have to learn how to live with that. They were bad people. All the same. When I first joined S.H.I.E.L.D., I thought I was going straight. But I guess I just traded in the KGB for Hydra. I thought 
thought I knew his lies I was telling, but I guess I can't tell the difference anymore. There's a chance you might be in the wrong business. I owe you. It's okay. If it was the other way around, and it was down to me to save your life, and you'd be honest with me. Would you trust me to do it? I would now. And I'm always honest. Well, you seem pretty chipper for someone who just found out they died for nothing. Wow. Guess I'd just like to know. It's the point. You let five people die. Then you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. Go back there and ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. See, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. What? Those guys are definitely not my buddies. Now I meant your real friends. Joey, Jonathan, Donnie, Danny. Oh. Are, are you smoking in school? Secret out out. Don't tell anyone. You okay, new kid? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I guess I'm just worried that it's all or nothing with me. This is who I am. I know. It's okay. If someone pushes you, you push back. Don't be afraid of anyone. Wow, you will spread. Because I'm afraid of mom. Thomas, but I, I noticed your lights were still on. I was wondering if we might meet. something private that I would like to talk to you about. Sure. Oh, very well. At uh, what time? Whenever you awaken, but the closer to daybreak, the better. Okay, sure. If you encounter Shelley on your way out of the house, just tell her you're going for a walk. We can conduct our conversation at a later time. Okay. Be sure to wear your wellies. The rain will stop soon, but it'll still be wet. Okay. <laughs> Good night. We must never be parted. Do you hear me? Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. 
We're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. you leave me, I'll kill you, and then I'll kill myself. I love you. I love you. You would know that. Now you'll never help me. It's not that I won't. I simply can't. Oh. I don't forget. And everything's just the same? Not the very same. Papa's been terribly severe. He forbids me to marry you. Did you mind that? I can't disobey, Papa. I love you just as much. What good will that do me? Please don't talk anymore. I said I was not to talk to you. You should send for me. I'd come. Your husband won't consent to that. But I might go all the same. So alone. So alone.
How does it feel to have to come here? Does it help to have someone to talk to? I think I felt better when I was locked up in the hospital. And have you thought more about why you were locked up? And in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. I've seen the footage. The only thing you really fight for is yourself. You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play, to lay down on a wire and let the other guy crawl over you. I think I would just cut the wire. Always a way out. You know, you may not be a threat, but you better stop pretending to be a hero. A hero? Like you? You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a box. That concludes today's session of Book Talk. Tune in tomorrow when we will look at John Kennedy Toole's unheralded early work, The Neon Box. Uh, just a black coffee. discs. It's so hard to keep track of these things. Where is it? It's really fine. I don't... Oh, yeah. Wow. Don't tell me. You used to be a masseuse. A massage therapist. Uh, I don't really know if the workplace is the place for this kind of... This is Wick. Yes, John Wick, that's right. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for 12. Peter, she 
knows me very well. And when she kissed me, it was just like she used to kiss me. That taste. Strawberries. Fancy a game? It's been a while. I'm not in the mood for games, thank you. I haven't had a real sip in 10 years. I didn't kill the president. The bullet curved, Eric, because I was trying to save him. They took me out before I could. Why would you try and save him? Because he was one of us. think me so foolish. You've always said that they would come after us. I never imagined they'd use Raven's DNA to do it. When did you last see her? The day I left for Dallas. And how was she? Strong. Driven. Loyal. How... How was she? She was my wife. I could see why she meant so much to you. You should be proud of her, Charles. She's out there fighting for our cause. Your cause. The girl I raised, she was not capable of killing. You didn't raise her. You grew up with her. She couldn't stay a little girl forever. That's why she left. She left because you got inside her head. That's not my power. She made a choice. But now we know where that choice leads, don't we? She's going to murder Trask. They're going to capture her. And then they're going to wipe us out. Not if we get to her first. Not if we change history tomorrow. I'm sorry, Charles. For what happened, I truly am. It's been a while since I've played. <clears throat> I'll go easy on you. Might finally be a fair fight. You have the first move. Need a lift, kid? No. Where are you going? You don't know what it's like to be afraid of your powers. Be afraid to get close to anybody. Yeah, I do. I want to be able to touch people, Logan. A hug. A handshake. A kiss. I hope you're not doing this for some boy. If you want to go, then go. Just be sure it's what you want. Shouldn't you be telling me to stay? To go upstairs and unpack? I'm not your father. I'm your friend. Just think about what I said, Ro. Marie. Marie. That is the question, isn't it? You're right. I can't tell you how long I waited to see the look on your face. Who are you? 
What do you want from me? What do I want? I want you to spend the rest of your life in this cell, staring at four walls and wondering how you missed it. How you let yourself be so blinded by your ego that you convinced yourself that you're one step ahead when you're always two steps behind. I don't like it. What, from Rock of Ages giving up so easily? I don't remember it being that easy. This guy packs a wallop. Still, you are pretty spry for an older fellow. What's your thing, Pilates? What? It's like calisthenics. You might have missed a couple things, you know. Doing time as a capsicle. Fury didn't tell me he was calling you in. Yeah, there's a lot of things. The light concealing cream goes on first. Then you blend and blend and blend. Blending is the secret. Mm-hmm. More concealing cream? Your complexion is so fair. Now, this has a touch of lavender in it. Give it a try here. Close enough. Okay, this should do the trick here. Hmm. I have another idea. We'll cover up the scars and start with a completely smooth surface. Are you lost? Yes. Good. Come make tea.
This is terrible. Really? Yes, yes, quite terrible. This tea has all the necessary ingredients, but it lacks the most important one. Balance. I see why your path to the sword remains clouded. He fell asleep one day and dreamed he was a butterfly. For hours he fluttered in the warm winter sun, until he no longer remembered he was Zhuang Zhu. Suddenly he awoke, and he was Zhuang Zhu again. But in that moment he didn't know. Was he Zhuang Zhu who had dreamt he was a butterfly? Or a butterfly who was dreaming he was Zhuang Zhu? A delusion starts, like any other idea, as an egg. Identical on the outside, perfectly formed. From the shell, you'd never know anything was wrong. We talk. If you have something to say. Charity, I love you. I love you too. Is that all? No. <clears throat> what then? Something has been going on. And I've been hiding it in my phone. You're right. But I, uh, I want to talk to you about it. Okay. Uh, fact is, I don't want to talk to you about it. I want to put it behind me, but I have to tell you if I want to be with you. And being with you and those babies is what I want, Charity. You gotta believe me. So what is it? What do you have to tell me? Whatever it is, we can deal with it. Just tell me the truth. I've been having feelings. About another woman. No. So, so uh, what? I haven't done anything. Maybe they're just feelings. And I have prayed. Listen, something's happened. Shit, it's all right. It's gonna be all right. I posted bun and I wasn't doing anything. I mean, I've got allergies. Interns. It was just a party. This is gonna be new, Sean. It's gonna be online any second. I know. You know. 
with an intern. No, it's cool. I have it under control. I will get it under control. I will call someone and see what the next move is, but this is going to be news now. You don't think Wardo was involved, do you? <laughs> you think all those kids, I mean the kids. All those kids that look up to you, they'd just be shattered. I mean, that, that's not what you really want, right? Or we come together as a team. You and me. Just roll with the punches. For like three minutes, maybe. It's not a big deal. And then you know what happens? All your dreams come true. People think my destiny will always find each other. Who is Yennefer? You know this woman from a heating, like a, a chain restaurant. Really? Look, the point is, I'm here for you, okay? And as long as you are by my side, I am not leaving this apartment. Do you mind if I just close my eyes for a minute? No, of course, of course. Of course. Thank you. Okay. Nothing. I just sat there. You didn't call anyone? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that if I did, it'd make it real. Mm -hmm. You're so scared. <laughs> you think it was your fault? How do you feel now? I can't move. You can't move. Why can't I move? You're paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Circular. You exist to continue your existence. What's the point? What's the point of your existence? To feel. Because you've never done it, you can never know it. But it's as vital as breath. And without it, without love, without anger, without sorrow, breath is just the clock ticking. choice but to remand you to the Palace of Justice for processing. Processing? You mean execution, don't you? Processing.
thinking. How much I'm gonna miss this place? I really loved it. Loved it? Yes, Dad. Loved it. 